No matter where you stand on the issues, we can all agree that activists shouldn't have a say over which nonprofits you can support. But that's exactly what is happening right here in the U.S., home of the world's most generous population. At least for now, that is. I'm Jeremy Tedesco with Alliance Defending Freedom. Left-wing groups are waging public pressure campaigns that strike at the very heart of freedom and giving. In particular, activists are targeting key financial institutions that manage donor-advised funds, demanding that these institutions divulge confidential information about their own account holders. One such effort, a loose coalition calling itself Unmasking Fidelity, is a perfect example. This group targets Fidelity Charitable, which is the nation's largest donor-advised fund. In 2020 alone, Fidelity Charitable distributed $9.1 billion. Unmasking Fidelity is demanding that Fidelity Charitable publicly disclose five years' worth of contributions to 10 organizations who they disagree with on a variety of hot-button issues. This list includes mainstream conservative organizations like ADF, which has 13 wins at the U.S. Supreme Court since 2011, plus Family Research Council and Turning Point USA. They're also demanding that Fidelity Charitable impose litmus tests on which charities their account holders can support. And of course, this litmus test would screen out only those groups who disagree with unmasking Fidelity's far-left views. We can't let this stand. This two-pronged censorship tactic threatens everyone. The demands of outside activists should never trump a donor's intent or expose them to harassment and intimidation. Politicized philanthropy is dangerous for people of every stripe. Instead, we should all advocate for a healthy culture of giving. What are the foundations of such a culture? First is a respect for donors with diverse views. Donors must be free to give to a broad range of causes and interests. In this way, charitable giving contributes to a flourishing and open marketplace of ideas. That's essential to maintaining a free society and driving social improvements. Second is a respect for donor privacy. Just last year, the U.S. Supreme Court decided an ADF case on this very issue. In Thomas More Law Center v. Bonta, the court struck down a state donor disclosure regulation because it violated the First Amendment rights of charities and their supporters. That wasn't just a win for conservatives, but for all nonprofit groups. That includes organizations like the ACLU, the NAACP, the Human Rights Campaign, and Southern Poverty Law Center which all joined amicus briefs in support of ADF's position in that case. But important court victories can't single-handedly protect a culture of freedom and giving. If activist coalitions like Unmasking Fidelity have their way, our nation's unique, philanthropic culture could still be destroyed. And make no mistake, that is precisely the aim of Unmasking Fidelity and its allies. If a leader like Fidelity charitable caves, many more institutions will likely follow its lead and it appears they may already be buckling to the pressure. At ADF, we hear frequently from Fidelity Charitable account holders that they face obstacles to supporting us from their own funds. And we're not alone. This is happening to other conservative groups as well. Thankfully, those who care about the freedom to give are taking action. More than 1,800 Americans recently sent a letter to Fidelity Charitable urging it to decline unmasking Fidelity's invitation that it serve as a roadblock to giving. Those signatories included over 1,400 people who signed the Philadelphia Statement, plus 350 financial advisors and investment professionals, and several leaders of nonprofit organizations. In response, Fidelity Charitable reiterated its commitment to be cause neutral and to refrain from limiting grant making to specific organizations based on political, religious, or philosophical grounds. Well, that's a welcome reassurance, but as we all know, talk is cheap. We must continue to hold financial institutions like Fidelity Charitable accountable until they live up to their promises to respect the freedom of the donors they serve. Find out more about what you can do by visiting freedomtogive.org.